Hey everyone, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and today I'm going to show you a really cool way to style other people's websites. So this is restyling other people's websites that you don't have access to. It could be Google, Amazon, whatever, any other website where you want to apply some CSS styling to make it easier to use or easier to read or just more fun. So it's better if I just show you this than to explain with words. First off, what you'll have to do is install the Stylus browser extension. So they have it for Chrome, they also have it for Firefox. I don't know about Vivaldi, Opera, and all the others, but in this case, I use it here for Firefox. I already have it added, so it's already installed. I don't have to uh, install it right now. Uh, once it's installed, we're gonna go to some different websites and let's change the CSS styling on them. Okay, so I'm not logged in, I'm doing this all from the front end. So uh, let me just give you some examples. So there are different ways, so let's say on the basic the first way you can do it is to just edit the apply some CSS to the text for a better readability. So for example, um, let's pretend I'm on a website and I think their text is too small. So I'm just going to look into here and whoops, wrong one. Just inspect the element real quick and just uh, change their, their body text font size. Okay, so the body font size 1.2 EM. Let's try font size 1.3 yeah and let's pretend I really like that okay so I can just copy all this oh I, I'll remember this I'm gonna go here click on the stylus icon and then click write this style and I believe that was the body tag so uh, there and font size 1.3 en and let's just save it and let's see if it takes and very cool so you can see it's applied now by my style sheet um, let's say I wanted to change the content width so I'm gonna go up here and I believe it's all the way up here and here and nope 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 uh, entry content there we go and here we go I'm just gonna copy all this and change your max width to somebody was suggesting to me earlier today he wanted narrower so let's try his dream come true and boom it is narrower so little things like that you can change how you can change how things appear um, you could also apply this for example I can do it on YouTube and I have a few uh, oh come on don't crawl now and let's do that what's that a song okay I remember like being annoyed by their titles their titles are a little too small so what I've done is I've gone to uh, it's all the way at the top so as you can see you kind of like if you manage it so annoying didn't want that as you can see you to some degree you kind of sort of have to be either a CSS ninja or you're a dude with <laughs> you're a dude with no life, right? To be sitting here and messing with this. But let's pretend. Um, all right. So, anyways, what I was gonna do was increase the font size here, and then it would be bigger, and I would increase the margin and all that. So I'm not gonna waste your time with that right now. Let's move on to the next example. So spacing and layout and changing row item count. So this is, um, I've done this before. You can check it out. Let's say you have a site like Newegg, which I shop on a lot. I buy all tons of uh, just computer equipment, computer gear. Okay, and I'm gonna go here and, and I'm just gonna click wireless routers. And, and we're gonna see just way too many way too much stuff going on so let's see how we can improve this let's go here and first thing I like to do is I'm gonna increase the number of items per row so right now it's four items per row and I'm gonna increase that I'm gonna close this up because this is really annoying okay here we go I go up here to here uh, nope not here ah going back Please, computer, don't crawl. I need you now. Here, here, here. Row, row, row. 
so close, so close. I need to bring this up. And here we are, okay. Here in the item cell, instead of uh, to make it five items per row, I'm gonna change this to, to uh, 20%. Hell yeah, there you go. I'm gonna put that here. And whoops, forgot my own. There you go. And with 20%. Nice. Right? I'm gonna refresh this page and it's immediately applied. Now maybe you have a super wide screen, you might want you know eight items per row or whatever. And if I want to just ter temporarily turn it off, I just do that and it's off, right? And then likewise, I can change the padding, I can change the margin. So right now, I think the padding is a little too high for this, so I'm gonna, let's bring this down to, uh, how about 15 picks? Oh yeah, very sexy. Right. Um, so there you go. So I changed the row. You you know you can like change color, spacing, and all that. Now how about let's go for hiding ads. I love to do this. Let's go. Okay. Let's search uh, football. Football. How about that? Okay. And I hate these darn. Um, let me find those ads. All right, you know what? How about a chicken recipe? I, I was testing this earlier. And we, we're, oh, why do I keep misclicking? All right, of course, the one time that I, I want to show you guys, it's not there. Um, SEO plan. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. You see these this ad junk right here? So I... I'm gonna go here. Hell yeah! Okay, so this one is just for that. So I want, I want all this. Here you go. Display none. Boom! No more ads. Straight to the good stuff. Right, I've, I've increased font size here. I've done that. Um, Amazon as well, like they have, you know, they'll have ads on like the side of their products. I've gotten rid of that. Um, or like, this is a client site of mine, and you know, let's say uh, I'm just gonna try to pick one of her posts. Oh, can you give me any posts. There you go. And where's her ads? Okay, so I don't, I didn't see her ads pop up, but basically, you you can apply that logic anywhere you want, right? To websites or forums, right? Forums have ads. You can just chop it out uh, using their CSS. Another thing you can do is a Sidar's uh, masonry masonry layout for Facebook. So it's really cool, and I'm going to show you. Just it's easier if I just show you. I go here. I go here. Oh, here. Let's go here. And. Close this, close this. I'm sorry, I should have this page like ready to go, you guys. I'm wasting your time. Okay, here we go. So this is how the, the Facebook group looks by default, and when I applied uh, Sidar's styling, I get this, right? So really cool, there's so many things you can do with this. If you're handy with CSS, you've got many opportunities. And the code for this was something like uh, was something like that. Uh, no, no, sorry, I gotta go back. Let's go back to manage. It was this, so it was all this. So anyway, you click on the link in my guide and you'll see all that. But I think for some of you, you'll have fun with this, you'll really enjoy it. For others, I think maybe it's just safer to just use the website as it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video.